Hey everyone, Deb here. Okay, this is the grand finale for the hashtag pink ribbon and my giveaway announcement. I had mentioned that early in the, might have been in the um, VR or maybe the first video, I said I was probably going to do a giveaway and everything I have laid out in front of me except for these, um, I will give away. I'm going to go through one one day at a time. There were 19, I believe, days that we did something. I wrote them all down and I wrote which ones I'm going to keep and which I'm going to give away. So the first thing is we had to make a tag for day one and this was the tag I made. It's a rather large one but it could be put into a large journal or it could be used on the front of a journal, you know, like sideways or you could even cut it down and use one as a pocket and the rest of it as a uh, cover something. I don't know. Up to you what you would want to do, but that was my tag. You are beautiful and that will be given away. And then day two was journaling cards. I am going to keep three and give away, I think it's six. Um, the three I'm keeping are these two, uh, a shorter one, a tall one, and then one of the squares. And then the, the ones I'm giving away are this one. And they're all, um, might need just an eraser there or something. Um, they're all squares, like uh, probably about four by four. Dreams, another dreams, hmm, yeah. And this one says love, L-O-V-E, with uh, glitter glue and has the ribbon on it. So one, two, three, four, five. You could use them as journaling cards. You could glue them down and make tuck spots in a journal or something. So those would be part of the giveaway. Some are on pink. You could even add uh, tape on some of them and make them like, a, or put a piece of, um, like a folded piece of cardstock and make it a flip. You could do that too, because there's room on the back to write. I called them journaling cards because they're pretty flat with the exception of the little pink bows on some of them. So those will be given away. And then three was a greeting card and two cards I'm keeping but this one I'll give away. This was the first card in the series and it is done like a, um, a book style card, sort of a vintage feel to it. It's done with Kirby Teasdale paper, thinking of you, and a sticker from the Dollar Tree backed on some paper, and these are bumped up. And then the ribbon I have going down here, and then the bow at the top, and just three little flowers. And inside just has that, and you can write over that, or you could even write over here, or you could even write on the back. I always get like little glue gobs or something. <laughs> And uh, if you want, I can put my stamp on the back, but otherwise it's yours to do with what you want. Next up is, I think, an ATC or, uh, nope, next up was altered index card. So that would be this. Okay, and this has a sort of a sheen on it because I'm pretty sure I use Mod Podge. This is part of a napkin and some, um, design paper. Um, I did some stenciling with some cookie stencils actually in a pink and then this is designer paper and what no these are washi excuse me there might be paper under there I can't remember anyway this is washi this is washi the rick rack pink bow and it's lined on the back so you can use it as a journaling card too and then the next one is a Rolodex card. So that would be this. And there you go. Cute, cute. I forget the name of that collection, but there was a paper collection I used for that. And I think also for the next couple. Uh, the next one was a cluster and I'm keeping that because I had mentioned in that video I'm going to use it as a top tuck spot probably in my journal and I'll, I'll um, probably after the second, the week of the second, I'll start putting some of the things I'm keeping into a journal and I'll do that with you on video. So there's that one. 
and then beaded dangles well where is this artist trading card let me see okay that's later okay <laughs> let me put that here um beaded dangles are here they're not going to be part of the giveaway i am going to try and sell them at my craft fair on the second and see if they'll sell if they don't sell um i'll probably put them for sale on youtube but on my other channel so if you missed that one i did not do a process video for these but i think they're gorgeous and sparkly and pink and they do have pink ribbons uh, now they are attached with jump rings so the ribbons could be removed if you just wanted a pretty pink dangle right but anyway there's those and then next after that is heart okay for heart i did a card and i will be keeping this i want to send it to someone so this card is in the giveaway this one is not um, and this one was a piece of paper out of something i forget <laughs> forget what collection and this was a piece of ephemera and then I just added some hearts other hearts here and this was a die that put the lines in the paper I don't know if you can see that yeah and inside I just I love that we are friends and little hearts um so let's see then we had ATC which I put here that'll be part of the giveaway that's part of the same paper collection I think as this but I did put washi and some lace with a pink ribbon on it, some adhesive pearls and um, ephemera. And I did write the information on the back, my information. So there's that. Then we had a tree and that was a coloring book page. So I'll be keeping that because <laughs> I'm keeping my coloring book. And that is this one that had let's see like the pink dogwood tree with the butterflies and I used mostly Prismacolor colored pencils and glaze pens and some stickers off one of the Dollar Tree pink ribbon sticker pack now this and this I cut apart to put them in two different places it says think and pink and I put a little pink bow on here because there was something wacky on that page but I'll, I'm keeping this obviously this is in the butterflies and flowers coloring book for adults that looks like this and um it is by do i even know who this is by sabani publishing don't know that's all it has okay all right and then next up we had uh three twinchies and there are three twinchies and i'm giving them away and someone asked me what do you do with those well let's look at this card you could just make a card and change it up not have it be book style but have a strip of paper or something a wide strip like this and put two of them on here something like that or even maybe depending on your size of your card if you had a five by seven you might be able to fit all three or you can just um use them as a tuck spot in a journal as well so these three will be in the giveaway i just dropped my list <laughs> okay let's see next up was book plate i am going to keep that because i had showed on that video that that's going to go in the front of my journal and that's what that looked like okay then we had another coloring page um in this annie day coloring book and this was what i had done i used sioux color uh, colored pencils pool party dry stampin up and faded jeans distress oxide inks in the background and spritzed it with a little water it is still a little crinkly that was on the 21st of October I did that and the pink ribbon was there okay so I'll keep that obviously and the watercolor card was next yeah uh, it was just watercolor and I turned it into a card 
which look like this, and I am keeping this because I'm going to send this to someone too. Someday, not right, maybe next week, because I'm, I'm getting overwhelmed. I have several projects I had to finish and get ready for a craft fair at the same time, and I'm like, eh, bah, bah, bah. anyway, I'm keeping that one too. Sorry. Um, flowers, I made three. I'm going to give away two. I'm going to give away this one and this one. The, the more full one, the, one of the three layer ones, and the one I'm keeping was actually my least favorite, but I'm going to put it in my journal, and that was this one. So I'll keep that one and give these two away. Okay, next up we had Mixed Media Postcard, which is this one from the 28th, I believe. Yes. And uh, so that was just this week as well. And I will give that away. And that has this on the back. I did not draw the line. So if you want to, you can. Because if I do it, they'll probably be crooked anyway. You can use it as a journaling card. Or because it has a little dimension here, that's almost like a good pool area. Like a pool tab. But I like that. It's hard for me to give some of this stuff away. But I have to. Um... And then we had three days in one project that I did for just, I did it for today, the 29th, and then 30th and 31st all in one. And that was fabric, stencil, and collage. And I will give that away. It's on a five by seven index card lined on the back. So it could again be a journaling card. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could essentially cut it and use it for several different um, journaling cards. But don't do that. No. Whoever wins it, it's yours when you get it. So anyway, those items will be in the giveaway. Now I have a few extra things to throw in. Let me get these things out of the way first. I think I showed you everything. There. Okay. I'm going to throw in this little sheet of stickers. It's been hanging out here in my pink bin and my sticker bin. And I never seem to use them, so I think they're all roses. It probably was a double pack, and I might have used one pack, or one sheet, and then I've had these. So I'm, I'm not using them. I'm going to give them away. I have two packs of ephemera, um, Echo Park die-cut cardstock pieces. This is Once Upon a Time. It's sort of fairy tale-ish. Oh, here. Here's what's in it. Um, but... Yeah, it's more girly and fairy tale-ish. And then we have this one, I Love Winter by Lori Whitlock. I am not positive all the pieces are in here. You can see I got these from a Jen Evers live sale. She used to do them on YouTube back in 2020, February 2020. And this one's winter time. This one's pinks, greens, purples, and more girly and fairy tale-ish. Once upon a time, princess. And this is I Love Winter. So I can't guarantee, I don't believe I used any of these, but I bought them off a live sale and it's possible some were not in there. So I don't know if they'll have the exact count. This says 33, this says 33. I think they're pretty close probably. Because they look pretty full. This one looks a little less full than this one. So I'm not sure. And then one last thing. I had shown you this when I was doing the book plate. These were, I don't know, <laughs> punch board. They're punch board add-ons. And it was Heidi Swap, I believe. No, Heidi Grace, excuse me. 12 tags, 6 swirls, 21 drops, 20 dots, 9 book plates. 11 decorative shapes, 38 hearts, and 11 scallops. I'll pull them all out and show you what you'd be getting. And then I'll tell you, what do you have to do to try and win all these goodies? Okay. So these are the tags. These are the swirls. And you can use them in your journals on whatever you want, really. Your art pages, you know. Seasons Greetings, these are the book plates, but they're all related to holidays, 
jolly and holly uh, berries there i can't read what that says these are hearts these this one also is christmasy but the others you could use anytime and this says santa so the middle you may not want to use all year long but the frame you could use and put your own sentiment in there and the others I, again i think these are called scallops different shapes of scalloped chipboard so that is i've had it i haven't used it so time to give it away or you know hopefully somebody will want it so now what do you have to do to get all this wonderful stuff um well i think it's wonderful um you have to today is the 29th when this is going up it's not when i'm filming it but it is the day this will go up 29th in the afternoon what you have to do is go to the playlist which i'll link um, in the description area and at the end of this video um, the playlist for this challenge and make sure you've left me a comment on every video in the playlist okay watch it please i need the watch time also please give the video a like if you haven't already so like and um, comment on every video then come back to this video and comment that you have uh, would like to enter and you have commented on every video so that's a lot some of you already have been commenting on every video so you're all set but just double check them on the playlist make sure you did make sure you hit the like button and then on i'm giving you till end of day midnight well basically till early morning on my time eastern time on the 7th so you know let's say by 3 a.m uh thursday the 7th eastern time of november 7th of november to do that and then i'll close it and then sometime on the 7th I will first check this video and see who is interested, if anybody. I hope somebody's interested. Um, and those that are interested, I have to go back and check every video. So I'd like to do the drawing on the 7th, but it might not be till Friday the 8th because I don't know if I can do all that checking in that amount of time. So we'll see. It'll The drawing will either be on the 7th or the 8th. And uh, I will use, um, oh, let's see how will I do it. I will probably use the comments from this video after I've checked all the other videos. So those that qualify, I can verify they commented on all my other videos um, in this series. Um, I will put them into a um, random comment picker and um, I probably am going to have to somehow exclude the ones. I'll, I'll see. If, if that doesn't work, I'll draw names out of, of a bucket or something on slips of paper. Because um, there could be some comments for people that don't want to enter. <laughs> and that's okay. I just need to exclude you from the drawing if you don't want to enter. So be sure in the comment below this video to say, yes, please enter me. Or just say, please enter me. Um, and then whatever else you want to say, but please enter me. It will have to be in there. And that's what I'll look for in the comments. So any comment with please enter me that has met the other requirement I mentioned, um, commenting on all the videos in this playlist, um, I'll do a drawing. Okay, that's it, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed this series. I had fun Jean, Jean's Jams, making everything. And um, yeah, uh, for those impacted by breast cancer, I'm sorry. Stay strong as you can. I know it's hard uh, just having gone through a different type of cancer years ago um, and not nearly as bad. But anyway, um, yes, stay strong in your mental spirits as, as you can. As stay as strong as you can. Okay, everyone, that's enough blabbering on by me. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being part of my channel. And I will see you, I don't know when exactly, <laughs> after this video goes up. 
and then we'll, for this series I'll come back on the 7th and or 8th and we'll do the drawing so stay tuned okay guys have a wonderful week I have a craft fair on the 2nd of November and I'm in a panic because I'm not ready so I haven't even started to get ready at the time of this recording so I'll let you know how it goes all right it's all jewelry it's not this kind of stuff um, yeah all jewelry Thank you. Hugs, love, and peace.